Welcome back. Today we'll be building one of the more iconic mobile suits in Gundam Wing, the Tall Dees 2, which was piloted by Trace, one of the antagonists in the show. To recreate the Tall Dees 2, I used a combination of Melander C3 for core and arms, HAL 826 for legs, and Fermesa for the head to mimic the plums of the mobile suit. The Melander core is there to best capture the look of Tall Dees 2, the Melander C3 arms for its good balance of regal control and firearm specialization, the HAL 826 for its looks and decent attitude stability, and the Fermesa which would help in keeping the shoulder weapon locked on considering its 15 second scan effect duration. For the shoulder weapons, I picked the vertical plasma missile launcher, VVC 70 VPM. For the right arm, I picked the medium laser rifle, the VE 66 LRA for medium range shooting. And for the left arm, it's the Coral Oscillator for close range aggression or for medium range stagger punish. For the booster, I picked the Alula 21E for boost and QB speed and reload time, WLT 001 for FCS considering its solid medium range assist, and NGI 000 for generators. This looks a pretty solid build and has performed pretty well in the arena, but ultimately it got steamrolled in Nest. Out of the 10 matches, this initial build only won one simply because it lacked stopping power. And the win was against a chainsaw mean build, so technically it doesn't count. Anyway, I took this chance to test a different weapon loadout that I have been thinking since I built my Gundam Wing Zero. I changed the arm weapons and replaced them with both Nebula, while I switched the vertical plasma missile launchers with normal ones, the VVC 706 PM. I didn't get to test with the vertical plasma missile launchers with this one, but I'm sure it would also work just fine. Ultimately, the goal for this loadout is to deal AoE damage. Lots of people are still unaware how strong AoE damage is and most will probably underestimate you once they see your loadout. Overall, I'm very happy with the Tolgis 2 since it managed to handle a variety of builds in PvP. Fast short range builds melt very quickly with the Nebula. Fast kiters get fucked by the Plasma Missile AoE, plus you can chase them down since the Tolgis 2 has 331 boost speed and 363 quick boost speed. For medium and chunky boys, you can easily manage the distance and dictate the pace by quick boosting or flying up. Alright, that's a build and the general strategy for Tall Geese 2. I managed to get a 7 win streak with this, so give it a try and let me know how it worked for you. Anyway, I'll leave you guys with a couple of fights to see it in action. Yeah. 